man, this is taking me back to uh, 2001. When did this song come out? Oh, uh, let's see. There's something wrong with the world, mama. You, okay, well, with that, it's uh, uh, time to unboxing time with Castro. I am Mr. Castro, and we have here... How do you find out when a song came out? Mr. How do you find out when a song came out? Mr. Chapel. Mr. Chapel. How do you find out? Look, I pushed Pursuit on it. of Happiness is a great song. Oh, Kid Cudi? Are you kidding me? Of course that's the clean version. Though. Of course, obviously. Maybe I'll play us out with that one at the end. I... Okay. So, Dr. Chapel, you have a plug for us real quick. Yes. You might remember something called the Mustang Moment, where we give out treats for people that participate every week come check it out it comes out every friday just like this and you get it in an email so it's even easier than accessing this show which is also nice <laughs> which is also nice and we have a special guest here with us today miss e rosier the bells welcome oh no We'll pretend like we didn't see this. Oh, I can't wait. Well, Miss E. Rozier, you're the favorite of the Rosiers, obviously. But you can't say that. She doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, it's okay. And uh, so how is, uh, you teach many things. Yes. Coding. Mm -hmm. Student body advisor. Yep. Uh, uh, what's it called? CCA? CCA. Which part of CCA, though? Um, I do the information technology and the healthcare. It's real random. Holy cow. And then what else do you teach? And then I do digital literacy, which is my main eighth grade class. Digital literacy. Are the kids digitally literate? <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> By the end of it, they will yes. be. What is, yes. the, what is the thing that the students struggle with most about being digitally literate? Um, file management where to save things and how to find them again <laughs> yeah you know i struggle with that myself when you're teaching that unit maybe i should come it's sit all in. the time yeah so you you come in and i'll teach you i've Thank seen you. one strategy where people just save everything they have to their desktop okay and i, I think right now you're making fun of me i'm pretty sure do you do what, that no oh, that's <laughs> yeah. well look how clean yours is this is fake because that does oh, that's not that's the actual the, desk. Yeah, that's, that's a fake window. That's the fake window. Oh, yeah, yeah. Double yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that is a bad strategy. Save everything to the desktop. Yeah. It, yeah. Ooh, I don't <laughs> want to throw up. Okay. Yeah, I do a little bit of that, but then I delete it and I um, I'll drag it. I have a picture of uh, my son holding a fish and I'll drag it into the fish's mouth when I need to find it. <laughs> <laughs> And then it sits there, and then, you know, if I don't need it anymore, I drag it to the fish's tail. How does this work? Not very well. I'll come to your class sometime. Okay. Sounds good. Well, Miss E. Rozier, we're ready to unbox. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Scooby-Doo baked graham cracker snacks. Cinnamon. We got to look at the box. Wow. Best if used by September 5th, 2021. When did you, when did you get this box, may we ask? Monday. Monday. That's a good few months. <laughs> yeah, you, there's time. I could get. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get through that before then. Wow. Yeah. Um, let's see here. On the go. I think it's telling us right here. It's got some little symbols for when this is good for. Oh yeah. Good on the go. Uh huh. Good at lunchtime. Good at the game. And after school. So it's got a bell for school, a soccer ball for at the game, a little lunch sack. What's the on the go? That's what a backpack. That? Oh, that's a backpack. Right, that's a backpack. Oh, it looked like a character from Among Us. It did. Yes. <laughs> that kind of does. Yeah. Among Us, not a sponsor, but a fun way to... We're still looking for sponsors. <laughs> a fun way to hurt hey, your you friends. You should open it, though, like this. Oh, well, not this is box. nice. We're, all, we're it's gonna... all in how you unbox, too. <laughs> I, we got to look a little bit. We, we explore the boxes a little bit. 120 calories per pouch. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, family rewards? Is this kind of like box tops? I don't know what that is. So. That's like box tops, but if you're homeschooled. <laughs> it's family rewards. Right? Take it to your mom. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mom, <laughs> can I redeem this for like a, I don't know, whatever. A free, <laughs> whatever it is you do. A free haircut? Yeah. Okay. We're going to dig in. And this is nice. We talk often. We love a good box here. Yeah. Almost as much as we love a good bag, but we, 
Oh, but we I, love, I'm assuming these are coming in bags. But I'm gonna right here. This is like the Valentine's boxes. Valentine's Day just happened. My daughter had to make a, a box. <laughs> you right? have brought this up on at least three previous shows. <laughs> But look at this is great. I hope I open this right. So you just it's it's uh, serrated here, so it should be nice and easy to open. I'm watching. Ah, uh, I, uh, I'm watching E Rosier's face because she clearly <laughs> wants this um, to be open properly. I'm having a hard time here, and it might be user error, but I will also say maybe not serrated well enough. No, they could have done a better job of per perforating that. Perforating? Yeah, serrated is like a knife blade. A, a knife? Yeah. Not allowed at school, kids. Safe school violation. Okay, so let's... Uh, oh, boy. Okay. Okay. And, and this... got a little hinge. This is nice. And, oh, it does it... That would have. How does it... <laughs> <laughs> that could have happened. Wait, what is this thing? Does it... Yeah, look, you open that up. Yeah. You know, with some tape, you can fix that right up how it's supposed to be. Uh-oh. It's cut. That kind of looks closed. Yeah, it's, it'll, it's working. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Oh, wow. So nothing, as far as advertising goes, that's a match. 10 for 10. That's, ex <laughs> that's exactly what I said it was. So they put the right backs <laughs> in the right box. Listen, you never know what these yeah, things Yeah, I know. Okay, we're going to... And you've never had these before. That's I have, I have never had these before. Okay, they're my favorite thing in the world. Well, okay. It's up there. Raggy! I, I feel like I'm five years old when I eat them, but they're so good. You uh, know, I would have had these if it wasn't for those meddling kids and that darn dog. Yeah. That's right from the show. <laughs> <laughs> so let's open this bag up here and try these uh, Scooby Snacks. Royce Scoob! That's my, that's my shaggy, shaggy impression. Yeah, shaggy. It's like, let's get out of here. That's pretty good. That's good. Uh, and then my only, I just say raggy as, raggy! That's my Scooby impression. <laughs> Alrighty, so they are, yep, they are dog treats. They look like dog treats. It says Scooby on them. Nice touch. The two little holes that are on, I don't know what that means. Uh, that's so that they could put it on their collar. The dog collar. So they put treats on the dog collar to torture yeah. the dog? Just pretend I didn't say that. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try this, Miss E. Rozier. Okay. You can try one? I'll try one, Here, sure. Try one along with us. I noticed that they're uh, shiny, which means there's probably some coating of sugar on there. This is the best thing I've ever eaten. It's better than a graham cracker. I spent over $100 at the Roof Restaurant, Pepple Square. Mm -hmm. This is better than anything I had there. <laughs> I'm having another one. I have them in my room because I get hungry because second lunch is but, late. Similar to a Teddy Graham. <laughs> they're kind of like Teddy Graham. But cinnamon. Better. I think they're better because of their size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a hypothesis I have. Science, kids. <laughs> that sometimes I like eating stuff. You can have another one. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, like, for example, if I try to eat one chip at a time, it's not as pleasing as if I grab three chips stacked mm -hmm. on each other mm -hmm. because I feel like it's hitting more of my taste buds. Mm. I didn't know why. I thought it was just because <laughs> there was more of it. But I feel like there's more of this and it's better than Teddy Graham. That's good. At, uh, How many come in the bag? I don't know. It doesn't say. Well, he had two. You had one. I had two. We'll no, I had two. Okay, so we have a total six. Nine. So there's nine. nine? That means each of us get three if we're being fair. I mean, if yeah. that's what we decide to do. You're kind of in. We'll be fair. <laughs> we're equitable here. Like that. All right. <laughs> These are freaking good. They also come in bo a box, but I felt like this was good snack size. They come in a box? <clears throat> like, like. Like you open it up and there's a thousand yeah. in there. So. Like it looks like a, a doggy snack box? Yeah. Oh, that would be cool though. You know, like Cheez-Its or any of that type of box. I love Cheez-Its. They Cheez have those. I love some good... Oh man. So they have on the go, or you have just a regular Teddy Graham box. So if this were in my room, I can capital G guarantee kids <laughs> that this would be gone within an hour. Yeah, I might have two. I'm times. also right now controlling myself <laughs> to ask you to open another one. You can open another one. I, uh, sounds good. <laughs> I'm obliged. It's Friday, which for me is a carb day. Let's check out our bag here. Mr. Chapel loves to check out a good bag. You want to check that out? Well, yeah, this bag is lined with foil. 
Did you know it has a purpose? Did you guys know that it has a purpose? To keep it warm? No, I don't know. Moisture out. I'm sure it has a purpose. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I'm sure that it has a I'm sure that it has a purpose. I'm gonna um, Google it. We have a broken snack in here. I don't love that, but is there a nine again? I ate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. So they're pretty consistent. Consistent but broken. Well, as my dad would describe me. <laughs> Here we go. This is incredible. Can we have you on again? <laughs> because when we brought Miss Thompson on here, she gave us garbage food. Yeah, I well, drank grass and ranch dressing. That's on you. Mm. I gave the good stuff. I'm eating. Oh, okay. Let's go. What are you going to write in the bag? Oh, yeah. Well,. Next time, I'm going to tell you the purpose of the foil in the bag. But what do you mean next time? Next show. Google it right now. I'm not scared. All right, let's Google it. I'm going to keep Let's do it. this. This is technology. Are you ready? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, you, Siri. You said Siri. That Siri. was your problem. Is it not? It's called Siri. Not I pronounce Siri. it. I pronounce it Siri. It's Siri. Siri. It is Siri? Siri. Yes. <laughs> Well, whenever I say, hey, Siri. Because it's, it's Siri. to your voice. Yeah, but you're pronouncing yeah. it wrong. You can yeah, say, she answers <laughs> to me. She answers to me. You can say, hey, Saroom. Is there something well, else I can That's know? not, no, that's not what we were asking. <laughs> if you trained it to, to respond to, hey, Saroom, it would answer. So I could say, hey, Jerome, and it would it would do that? If you would, because you would train this when, right. you, my when son you made it. My son made me do it. He yeah. showed right. Me. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, it. her name is Siri. I say Surrey. Yeah, well, you know, some days. All right, is that a popular name down under, Surrey? Bad income. <laughs> uh, and you notice she's Australian, right? Um, hey, Surrey. Why is the inside of my Scooby snack bag lined with foil? Is that a good way to search it? Sure. I feel like this is my five-year-old asking Google questions. She's still listening. Look, she's still <laughs> pulsating. Look, my, I'm just going to Google it. My, Never my, mind. My kids will say, hey, Google, because we have a little Google thing. Yeah. Hey Google, why does why does our chair have a crack in it? It's like, <laughs> oh, my music's still on there. Hold on. <laughs> what? Hey, whoa, whoa, hopefully nothing bad. I don't know what just happened. No, but... uh, all my music is clean. Mm. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're gonna Google. <laughs> anyway, this is, I'm still eating these. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Eat Roger. Anything you want to say to the kids before we rate the bags? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Midterms are coming up. Sign up for PTC, Parent Teacher Conference. Yeah, next Thursday. Uh, aluminum foil provides a complete barrier to light, oxygen, moisture, and bacteria. I moisture, so I think I win. Yeah, I think she wins. Aluminum you got to keep foil. these now. I Oh, good, because, you know, That's your I reward. pay for them. So. so you could leave this in the sun, and uh, it's not going to be damaged by the sun, because it protects it. I was fly fishing the other day, okay, and I found a bag of uh, fish up on the river where a lot of people tube, and I found a bag of uh, sour gummy snakes. Did you open them? I opened them, and I ate some. Oh my god. You know why? No. It was totally protected from... Aluminum foil. Oxygen, moisture, and bacteria. They were in an all aluminum right. bag? Yeah, but there was, must have been a small hole in it because they were all kind of mushy Together. and tasted like yeah. river water, but still... <laughs> so you're saying the aluminium did not help good pronunciation okay, okay well this has been great i'm gonna rate the box real quick i'm gonna say nine out of ten as advertised this bag looks just like it looks like and then this contraption is great is that where you lost a point was in this right here it wasn't per per <laughs> per serrated edge. perforated perforated it wasn't perforated i well. say perforated and surrey you say perforated and siri who's right not okay we're both wrong but i i would say if it wasn't for that that's a 10 i like this i like that it hitches back hitch is not the right word but yeah, it's a like word it. and so that goes back in there shuts nice um uh, I'll say that, and then out, 10 out of 10 on the product. Uh, yeah, the Scooby Snacks were delicious. The bag itself, I rate an 8.7. That's a good bag. Yeah. <laughs> did, you did you test its strength? Not this time. Strength? 
shrimp. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm dropping it. So that ripped really easy. Yeah, it did, but that could be good but too. But technically you, this is for little children, so they have to be able to get into that. Yeah, you want to get into these, man. You know what I mean? And I feel like if you needed some sun protection, you could kind of hold this up. <laughs> so you just hold it. Yeah, and a guy like me, if I forget a hat, I'm in trouble. So I'm going like this. I could maybe flag an airplane down. Yeah, SOS right there. 6.7. So we're going to say that these are also good as emergency preparedness in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Did you? I only got one, I think, of that last bag. Did you open all, all the others. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so apparently we're not equitable. They were good! <laughs> hey, in fairness, I need more energy because of my gregarious personality. It's true. You are gregarious. I actually don't know what that means. I would Google but the it, people but who it have said five minutes last time. <laughs> people who have used gregarious personality... I feel like I'm like them. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I know what it is. What is it? I don't want to say because <laughs> I don't really know, but I think you're right. I mean, I think I know. Okay. This has been a great episode with Miss E. Rozier. Thank you for coming by. Um, any last words for the kids? Nope. I'll play you out with some music. That says E. That's explicit for E. Rozier. <laughs>